Good morning, my avid readers. Hope you're having a great day. Today for reading, we're gonna continue talking about what an avid reader can do to make his reading or her reading more fun. Yesterday, we talked about different ways that you can play with your books. So let's look at those real quick and then we're just gonna talk about them a little bit more in detail. So yesterday, we talked about when you have a book, you can play school, you can be the teacher. You could do a read aloud where you read the book aloud to someone, or you could do a shared reading where you're reading aloud and asking them questions along the way. So that's something fun you could do with one of your stories today. You can play school with mom, dad, grandma, grandpa, whoever's at home helping you. We also talked yesterday about how you can play games with your books. Yeah, you can play games. We talked about how you could go on a snap word hunt. You could play the alphabet puppet game where you say a sound and see if they can find that sound in the story. You could play guess the feeling. How is that animal feeling? How is that person feeling in the book? Or you could play guess what's next. You can predict. What do you think is going to happen next? And then our snap word hunt, which is pretty easy. You just go through and see who can find snap words. So let's practice today with this book. This book is called The Lazy Pig. And if I were gonna play the snap word hunt with this game, I, right here, I found a snap word. Look, the, that's one of our snap words. Well, let's look on the next page. This is not one of our snap words, but this word is wake up. Wake up. Oh, there's a couple of our snap words. The word up, that's our snap word. Oh, look, it's a rooster. What does a rooster say when he wakes up? cock a doo cock a doo Wake up. The sun is up. <gasps> snap word hunt. There's one. There's one, there's one, there's one. So you could go through and play the snap word hunt. Now, you could also play the alphabet poppet game. So if I asked you to look at this page and find the letter that says K, like this, K, K, K. That could be the C, right? Or sometimes a K, right? What if I asked you to find the letter P? Oh, there it is. There's another one. So there's different ways you can play the alphabet puppet game, too. Let's look at the next page. Oh, it's a cow. It says, I am up, said the cow. Moo, moo. I am up. How do you think that cow is feeling? We could play guess the feeling. I know whenever I wake up first thing in the morning, I'm feeling sleepy. Maybe a little bit sad too because I know whenever I'm really sleepy, it kind of makes me sad. And sometimes it makes me grouchy. So we could play the guess the feeling game. And then we could think, guess what's next? Who do you think the next animal is that's going to wake up? I'm thinking a horse. Let's see. Oh, I was wrong. It's a sheep. So I gave you all ways that you can practice playing those games. So it's your turn now. As an avid reader, I want you to practice playing some of those games. And throughout the book, you can switch the games up. You can play one page. You can play Alphabet Pop It. One next page, you can play Guess the Feeling. So you can switch it up, make it fun because reading is fun. And the more you read, the more of an avid reader you're gonna be. I'm gonna have this book, The Lazy Pig, for you. So if your parents wanna practice with that book at home with you, that's great. You can just print it out. If not, you can practice it with any book that you have. Have a great day, my friends. Bye-bye.